Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial here. Today we're going to learn how to play Ichika's I Miss You. So this one uh, is <laughs> pretty tricky. Uh, took some practice for me. Let's, as a refresher, let's play through this one. Alright, so this one's going to involve a lot of strumming and a lot of tapping, which is what Ichika's known for. And I try to keep the tapping in this arrangement to a minimum. Unfortunately, though, I can't really just jump up 10 frets and then go back down instantly, so tapping we go. If you've never tried tapping before, it goes something like this. You're basically fretting with your strumming hand, which is a little weird. Uh, and since you don't have a hand left to strum or pick with, then you're left kind of hammering on the note. Uh, to simultaneously fret and pick it at the same time. Just kind of weird. It goes something like this. So yeah, it, it can definitely be a little bit quieter than your picked notes. Uh, if you practice it to the level of Ichika, then you can play it to where it's as loud or louder than your picked notes. But for this arrangement, it's okay if it's a little softer. And you're going to want to just take your finger and just smash down on the fret as hard as possible. It might take some practice uh, or a lot of practice to even just get the technique down. Uh, so I would not recommend this as a good intermediate arrangement to start with. That's it with techniques. Otherwise, it's pretty much just basic strumming. For the first chord, take your first finger and put a on a bar on sixth fret. And then take your ring finger and put it on eighth fret on the A string like this. And you're going to actually start with just the bar and hammer on that 8th fret. So, and it's going to be 4 strums and the hammer on is going to be on the first one. And then you're going to move to this chord, which is another 7 chord. And you're going to be basically taking a D minor shape, but playing it up here, which makes an F minor. Uh, it's going to be 5, 5, 4. And then take, take your pinky and put it on 6th fret of the A string like this. And then be prepared to take your first finger and lie it down to make a bar here. Because you're going to need to strum and then do a pull off with your pinky to get the next note. And then you're going to hit the last melody note on the G string with your thumb. All that is. So yeah. Then you're going to go to this chord. Uh, and you're going to do that slide with the pinky. So it's going to start, um, this is like an F sharp minor chord, uh, but up here, so it's sixth fret, fifth fret, sixth fret with your middle index and ring finger. And you can put your pinky on sixth fret on the A string at first and then slide it up to the eighth fret as soon as you strum it. And then you're going to go back to this chord, which is the F minor seven. But instead of, you're going to strum it, then you're going to hammer on or tap with your right hand on the 11th fret on the A string. And then you're going to strum it, tap it, and then as you release, you're going to strum up. And that's going to be with your pinky on 8th fret. So your pinky, while you're tapping, is going to move up to 8th fret. So, yeah, all that so far is... Yeah. So that's the first half of the intro, and then you kind of do the same thing again. Um, but this time, you, in addition to doing the hammer on the third strum, s slide up the whole chord. And if you can do it in a bit more of a gentle, less groovy way, just to make it different, um, since this idea repeats a lot, you're going to want to play it differently each time. So, And then same, where it's the sixth fret pull off and then hit with the G string. But then you're going to want to move this whole chord shape down two frets. So now you have three, three, two. And don't worry about the A string. Mute it. Uh, and then hit it once. And then move it back up to where it was. And you're going to strum it once. And then your pinky is going to hammer on the sixth fret. Like that. And then you're going to do an up strum. 
with the pinky back off. So it's and then you're going to hit the last chord, which is a B flat minor down here, which is like A minor, but you move it up one fret and out a bar on first fret. And strum that out, and then you're going to do muting that uh, with your pinky, you do third, four as the one. Strum the muted strings, uh, and pluck down the third, and then move up your pinky to fourth fret. And then you're, you're going to tap the 11th fret again. And that gets you ready for the first note of, I guess, the verse. That's going to be the same B flat minor chord, but your pinky is on 6th fret of the A string. Uh, and then you're mostly going to be sliding down to make the melody. So that's 6, 4, and then as a slide. And then you strum the 3rd fret. Then you're going to put your pinky on 4th fret of the E and mute the A. And then strum, let go with that and strum like that. So And then the next part has no chord, it's just going to be the notes. But you're going to strum that, so you're going to be using your thumb to mute the G string, uh, and then using your index finger to mute the E and A strings, as well as fret the first fret. And then you're going to, with your third finger, fret the third fret of the C string. And then that's going to be one. And then you're going to let go and do first fret. And then you're going to go back to the third, but then this time slide up to the fifth fret. And then you're going to hit the fourth. You're going to slide up to the fifth fret. And you're going to add on the fourth fret of the E string. So you get this nice F minor sound. And then so it's going to be strum and slide and then up strum. And then on the next strum, you're going to go down to this, which is mute the G and A. And you have open C and then first fret on E. That's also an F. And you do some percussive strums to fill it in. And then you do this F sharp chord, which is like an F, but moved up one fret so with the bar. So you have three, one, two, one. And then it's going to be your first, first two strums. And then you go to an F chord, but you're barring the E and A strings with your first finger to get the melody notes. And that's going to be one strum, and then you're going to take your pinky and slide it up four to six, and then you're going to land back on fourth fret with the B flat minor, just the bar on first with ring finger on third. And then you're going to do slide from four to three, and then strum up on just the bass chord. And next part is going to be hit the F sharp chord once. Then you're going to swap back to the this F with the bar. But you're going to have your pinky on third fret. And you're going to hit it once and slide it up to fourth. And then strum the third fret again. And then you're going to hit the B flat minor chord. And then you go back to the intro, but this time play it a bit more softly. There's a couple notable differences. The first one is the second time, instead of going to this chord, you s go back again to this major seven chord. And instead, kind of pinch the strings like that, focusing on the G and A strings like that to get a softer sound. But you're still doing the tapping there. Uh, and then, and then you just end on the. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching the tutorial. Hope this helped. Um, I really love this song. I really love Ichika and you know all the stuff he does, all the cool music uh, and just his style. He's really been an influence on me, um, especially recently. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you like my arrangement of his beautiful song. Have fun playing it and see you on the next video. Stay tuned.